In this tutorial, what we're going to look at is how to make selections using our rectangular marquee tool, our ellipse uh, marquee tool, and our polygonal lasso tool. These, these selection tools are what I refer to as selecting using shapes. So up here in our, our top right, we have the marquee tool. And if you click and hold down, you'll see a couple other options there. What we're going to look at is just the rectangular marquee and the elliptical marquee tool. So we're going to start off with this rectangular marquee. And let's say we had um, a rectangular shape that we wanted to select. We could, we could do that. Probably more likely would. Let's, if, if we're, our goal is to select this building, we could break it down into smaller shapes and start our selection. Now one thing you'll want to pay attention to is up in the top left of your options panel, you have these four images. And if this button is clicked down, which by default it will be, it's called New Selection. We have Add to Selection, Subtract from Selection, and intersect with selection. This new selection really isn't going to work for our purposes because you see we had that selection now let's say we wanted to continue selecting things as soon as we do our original disappeared. So the two that I suggest having on the most are, is to leave this add to selection on that way when I go and make my rectangular selection here and maybe I'll go break this down I have two selections it doesn't matter if they overlap or not it'll all become one selection so everything inside of that I'll be able to manipulate change copy do whatever it is that I want to do so that's one way of making selections the other thing that we can do is use the elliptical marquee tool. So this would be good for example this dome because if you look at it what it really is is a half circle. And this tool takes some some uh, time to get used to it but my general recommendation is where you want to start and click I mean obviously whoop, need to click on my add to selection here feather I want to make sure is at zero but when I when I begin this how I determine where I start my my click is I take the topmost point and I make an imaginary line and I find it line it up to the leftmost point and right about there is where I want to make my selection and it's not going to be perfect but it's going to be good enough so that's going to add to my selection so I can continue to make these selections throughout and go ahead and select the rest of this building. Now there's another tool that I can use and this is the polygonal lasso tool. By default this will be the lasso tool which looks like this and I'll quickly explain the three options here. The top one, Lasso Tool, is a freehand tool, which I find incredibly difficult to use. Really haven't found a situation to use it. The bottom one is the Magnetic Lasso Tool, which is an automated um, selection tool, which some beginners like to use. I just don't think it's very accurate, so I kind of stay away from it. The Polygonal Lasso Tool would be my tool of recommendation out of these and it helps us draw irregular shapes. I gotta make sure I'm on add to my selection here. And you just click wherever you want this to go. Now I have to close whatever shape that I'm in. So I have to go back to the beginning eventually. And it added everything inside of there. If you click and let's say you mess up, you end up up here, how you get rid of this is to press the escape button. 
Um, so things like the statue, obviously you're going to have to zoom in to, to do a really nice job. We can see our, our circle is off a little bit here. So we can use this polygon lasso to and make lots of short segments. To correct this and we're going to eventually select that whole statue so it doesn't really matter how good that is going to be but now I have that included so you can go ahead try and trace the statue and the rest of that building um, one other thing that I want to point out is when you have excess let's say you had too much you can go to up in our options panel we can switch to our subtract from selection and in this case we select we want to go down the edge of the building and we'll end up encircling the sky because that's what we want to delete there we go And those are how you use the elliptical marquee, rectangular marquee, and the polygonal lasso for selection purposes.